Okay, here's the lasagna all done. I may have just left it in a little bit too long so it did get pretty blackened on top, but we like blackened cheese anyway, so. Yes, and the garlic bread, I made garlic bread, and instead of the cold salad, where's yours? Red wine. Instead of the cold salad, I just put some broccoli and carrots in the oven to roast. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight on a very hot evening. Hot food on a hot evening. For dinner tonight, we are having tacos. So I have some shredded beef that I had put in the freezer and I took it out. And I'm warming that up. And then we have some of this Tasty Bite organic brown rice. This is on Ibotta at Walmart and Shopkick. So it's $3.12. You get $2 back on Shopkick and a dollar on Ibotta. So it's only $0.12. Cents. And then I have a can of black beans warming up. We have lettuce, tomato, onion, and cheese. And I have some Ortego, Ortego, Ortega yellow taco shells warming up in the oven. And we also have some avocado. So here we have avocado for our taco, hot sauce, salsa, and we like to put a little bit of salad dressing on our tacos. So I will show it to you when it's all plated up. And it is Taco Wednesday. So I know we have tacos a lot. But this is just an easy, quick dinner that I almost always have ingredients. Yes, your hot stuff. It's not the sriracha, but it's some kind of rooster sauce. I usually always have ingredients for, for my tacos. I have some kind of meat. And if not, we can just have bean and rice tacos. Fresh lettuce, tomato, and shredded cheese, and some kind of rice and some kind of beans. So... That is what we are having for dinner tonight. Taco, easy taco Wednesday. For dinner tonight on Sunday night, it's kind of a cool day here in Southern California, so it's not really a barbecue kind of day, although we can barbecue all year long. It, it, we really could, but we're going to do another casserole. Surprise, surprise. So I have a bell pepper that was very shrivelly and needed to be used up, so it's orange. So I chopped that up. I have some chopped celery and carrots and some chopped power greens that I'm going to use or super greens bland. I'm going to use this pasta that I got. It was $2.99 at Albertsons. You get $1 back on Ibotta as well as $1 back on Fetch. And then it will count for points on Maryfield. So I'm going to use that. I have some cheeses that I need to use. I've got some pepper jack. I'm going to use that up. I've got this mozzarella provolone. I'm just going to throw that in. And then I have some of this kind that I'm going to throw in. And I'll use some of this cream of chicken soup. You can use any kind of cream base type stuff. You can use cream of chicken soup, sour cream, cottage cheese, milk, heavy whipping cream, half and half, anything. So we're just going to put it all together, put it in the casserole dish, bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes. And that's going to be dinner tonight. And here is the casserole, all cooked and brown and cheesy and good. And then we have a sweet kale cranberry salad to go along the side. And I'm just going to drink some water with my dinner tonight with a squeeze of lime. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight, we're watching the bunny outside. He likes to look in and look at our salad. And we are having salad for our dinner tonight. Along with our leftover chili, which is really, really good tonight. And leftover cornbread. And we have our candlelight and heart healthy red wine. So happy Bunny Wednesday. For dinner tonight, we are having lasagna. So I got one of these and it's an Ibotta rebate. So it's a really good deal. These hot dog buns, we got at Albertsons for, I think, 19 cents uh, for an eight pack. So it makes really good garlic bread. 
And then we have a kale salad and heart healthy red wine for dinner. So that's what we are having on Saturday night candlelight dinner. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and canned vegetables. So I'm going to use the Laura's Lean Ground Beef. I got this at Albertsons. I used my $7 off meat reward and then $2 back on checkout 51, so it made it $1.19. This is the kind I like, or I like the, um, the Albertsons Safeway Organics brand. I can't do the other ground beefs. I just can't. Um, so I'm going to use this, and I'm going to mix it with ketchup and an egg and some oatmeal. And I would do onion powder, but I don't have any onion powder, so I'm going to use an onion and dice it up. And then I'm going to put some garlic powder in it and some salt and pepper and mix that all up and shape it into a loaf and put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour. So let's get to cooking. Okay, I mixed it all together, formed it into a loaf, and now it's in the oven. Okay, the meatloaf is done. It does get a little brown on the edges, but I like to make sure it's good and done. And it doesn't usually hold together very good into a loaf for me. And then I also made some garlic buns out of hot dog buns instead of crescent. Normally we'd have crescent rolls, but I'm going to use up these hot dog buns. Then we have our French green beans and our mashed potatoes, so we will serve it up and show you it all plated up. Here it is, the meatloaf, the mashed potatoes, the French green beans, and the garlic bun, and heart healthy red wine, and we like to put ketchup, even though it says tomato blood, yuck, that is such a bad marketing thing, I think. It's ketchup, so we're going to put some ketchup on our meatloaf, and that's what we're having for dinner tonight, yes, sriracha ketchup. You can't find this in the store anymore, but I've had this for a while, and it is pretty good. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight on Sunday night. So happy Sunday. Happy Candlelight Sunday dinner. For dinner tonight, we are having Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches and... The Angels got seven runs yesterday, so we got our free Chick-fil-A's today. And I like to bring them home and have our own french fries. And we like to put lettuce, tomato, and onion on our Chick-fil-A sandwiches. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight, we're going to have fajitas. So I have some chicken. I've got half of a green bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, an onion, I found this beat up avocado in the back of the fridge. Hopefully it's salvageable. And we're going to have brown rice to go with it. This was a really good deal at Walmart with our coupons and Ibotta and Shopkick. And also we're going to have black beans with it. And I've got some of these tortillas that we're going to put it on. So we're going to have fajitas, beans, and rice, and that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do is slice these all up and put them in the oven at 395 for about 20 minutes. We'll heat up the beans, heat up the chicken, and heat up the brown rice, and heat up the tortillas. And dinner will be ready in no time. Even though this brown rice says it's microwavable, it, I like to put it in the skillet. I think it comes out much better if you put it in the skillet and warm it up that way. And then there's the fajita chicken, my black beans, I've got my pan heating up and I'm going to warm up my tortillas. And the vegetables are finished and they're done. I'm going to take those out. And dinner is ready. Mm -hmm. 
And here it is, fajitas, black beans, brown rice, heart healthy red wine, and the avocado is actually pretty good. So I'm excited about tonight's dinner. Happy Friday. For dinner tonight, we are at BJ's, and I got these gift cards from my Ibotta. So it's really exciting when you can get the gift cards from your Ibotta and go out to dinner, and it doesn't cost you any real money out of pocket. So I'm having the Asian chopped chicken salad, which has chicken and mandarin oranges and a bunch of greens and stuff. And then Darling Husband is having the blackened salmon with rice and steamed broccoli. So it is really good because I took a bite of it. And then we are splitting a Harvest Hefeweizen beer tonight. So happy Saturday night. Out to dinner. It's really nice to have a treat. Go out to dinner. And thank you Ibotta for sponsoring this dinner. For dinner tonight, we are having leftover Lucille's. We had ordered takeout two nights ago, and so we got baby back ribs, and we got tri-tip, and we got beans, but their beans don't hardly have many beans in them, so I fortified them with some extra beans. And we've got leftover macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and leftover greens, and I fortified those with more onions and some more greens so that we'd have enough for our dinner tonight. So that's what we're having tonight. Here it is, the beans, the greens, the mashed potatoes, the macaroni and cheese, and the ribs, and under there is half a slice of fry tip. And that is what we are having tonight. We also have biscuits, but I don't care for those, so I'm not having one of those. But that's what we're having tonight. So happy Monday. Happy Columbus Day, Holiday Monday. For dinner tonight, we are having lasagna, garlic bread on hot dog buns, and the sweet kale cranberry salad, and heart healthy red wine. So happy Thursday. For breakfast this morning, we are having pancakes, sausages, and eggs. My husband likes his scrambled, and I like mine over easy. So let's get to cooking. pancakes, hot and spicy sausage, two eggs, and we have fruit to put on our pancakes. We have bananas, peaches, strawberries, and blueberries, and hot, fresh black coffee. So, happy Friday morning breakfast. For dinner tonight, we are having tacos. These are chicken tacos, brown rice, refried beans. We've got some avocado and a chip. And of course, we're having the heart healthy red wine. Yes, Cholula, so that's not it. So happy Friday. Friday taco night. It's Taco Friday. For dinner tonight, I'm just cleaning out my vegetable produce drawer and the freezer and seeing what I can make for dinner. And I'm going to make some soup because a lot of this stuff needs to be used up. I've got some shrivelly tomatoes. I've got some cabbage that really needs to be used up. So that'll be good in soup. I've got some frozen spinach. It's already thawed. I took it out of the freezer. I've got some a little bit of ground beef. It's about a half a pound, but that's perfect for soup. I got some scraps of onions. I've got a zucchini that's on its last leg. Another onion, two stalks of celery that are kind of half frozen, but they'll be okay. Um, a piece of a big carrot, some broccoli, some shrivelly potatoes, and I will also put canned tomato, canned 
corn and canned tomato sauce in it. And so let's get to cooking. So I will be making vegetable hamburger vegetable soup. Mama used to make this a lot. This was what she would make very, very often because she would always usually just have stuff that she needed to use up and put together and it was the best soup ever. So let's get to cooking. The first thing we'll do is just brown our ground beef. You can do it from frozen. Just put it in the pan on low and keep turning it over and turning it over until it thaws and browns up. Everything is all chopped up and put into the pan now and I'm going to, it's not very much liquid, but the vegetables will cook down and create some more liquid. So I'm going to put a lid on it and let it simmer for a little bit over an hour and then we will be ready to eat. I'm also going to make some cornbread to go with this soup. Here's the soup. It is really rich and thick, hot and hearty. And mangled cornbread. My cornbread usually mangles coming out of the pan. And heart healthy red wine for dinner. So that's what we are having for dinner on Saturday night. It smells really, really good. For dinner tonight, we're having our leftover vegetable soup. It's really thick. I think I'd call it a vegetable stew. But it's thick and good. And it's going to be even better tonight and hot fresh cornbread and this is kale salad uh, but they didn't put the dressing in it they forgot to put the dressing in it and the other accompaniments so i had to make up my own dressing and put some raisins and pecans in it and we are having our heart healthy red wine and so that is what we are having for dinner tonight on sunday night for dinner tonight, I am making simple steak and gravy in the crock pot. So I'm going to put these in the crock pot with onions on top and a can of cream of mushroom soup. And that will cook all day and make a really good steak and gravy. I'm also going to have some mashed potatoes and some canned green beans. So just an easy, quick, simple dinner tonight. Okay, here it is. Steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, and Italian green beans. And I made Pillsbury Layery biscuits also. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight on Wednesday, we're having leftover steak and gravy, more green beans, mashed potatoes, and leftover biscuits for Monday night. And we have a new candle, so we're so excited. We're back to candlelight. It's not really new, it's kind of an old candle. It's from 2012, but hey, it still works. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Hi everyone, so for dinner tonight, it is Thursday night and we're gonna make artichoke chicken. I forgot about this recipe and I haven't made it in a long time. And my daughter texted me recently and said, hey, what was the spice that goes in the artichoke chicken? And it reminded me, oh man, I haven't made that in a long time. I need to make that. So that's what we're going to do. This is an old recipe that I got from Aunt Mary. And it's so good and it's easy and it's delicious. So we have about a pound of cut up chicken breast. It's partially frozen. It's much easier to cut up that way. So we just got that cut up into chunks. We've got some green onions. And for our spices, we have paprika and tarragon. We have some marinated artichoke hearts, and we also have sour cream. So if I can remember how to do it. So what we're going to do is drain the artichoke hearts, but we're going to reserve the marinade. And then we're going to cut those up and put those on the bottom. Then we're going to put the chicken on top. And then we're going to put dollops of sour cream all over it. And then we're going to sprinkle it with green onions and put the marinade back on top. And then we're going to put tarragon and paprika on it. So let's get to cooking. Okay, I'm going to use two jars of this because I like a lot of artichokes. 
So I'm gonna put that on the bottom. I'll probably cut them up a little bit more. Okay, I did give the artichokes a little bit of a rough chop and then I put the chicken chunks on top. Now we're gonna put dollops of sour cream on it and continue on from there. I did use two jars of these artichokes. They are 14.75 ounce jars. If you don't wanna make a big nine by 13 pan, you could just use one jar and use a smaller pan. And only like a half a pound of chicken. These don't have to be in any certain order. You're just going to put dollops all over. Now we're going to sprinkle the green onions on top. I'm using the whole bunch. And I probably put about three-fourths of a cup of sour cream or maybe one whole cup of sour cream. I didn't really measure. I just put a bunch of blobs on. If you don't have green onions, you can use white onion, yellow, or red onion. I've done that before when I didn't have green onion and I didn't feel like going to get it. But it just looks really good and pretty with the green on it. Now that we've got the green onions on, we're going to drizzle some of the marinade back on top. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to sprinkle some tarragon on top. I wish it had a shaker top, so be careful. You don't just dump the whole thing on. This tarragon has kind of got a sweet kind of flavor to it. It really does complement this really well. I'm going to say that was about one to two tablespoons of tarragon. Then we're gonna sprinkle paprika on top and this really gives it a pretty color too. Now this paprika is pretty red um, and orange. It is the Great Value brand. Different brands are different colors. So we're probably gonna put one to two teaspoons of paprika on top. Then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 for about an hour. And I'll show it to you when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the oven, all nice and brown. I've already plated up uh, my husband's, and then I'll put mine on the plate. We're also having long grain and wild rice and steamed zucchini and yellow squash. And we're also having a garlic bun made out of hot dog bun. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. We've got our candlelight going and our heart healthy red wine. So happy Thursday. Happy chicken artichoke Thursday. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make fajitas. I've got some bell peppers that have been in the refrigerator and they're getting kind of shrivelly. So I'm gonna dice them and slice them up along with some onions and put them in the oven. And we're gonna have fajitas tonight and we're also going to have Spanish rice and some refried beans. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the oven at about 380 for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to put some seasoning on top of them. I don't have any fajita seasoning mix, but I do have this taco one so i'm going to fortify it with a little bit of cumin and garlic powder and onion powder and i'll put that on about halfway through the cooking because if i put it on too soon it, it kind of burns for sunday morning breakfast we are going to have we're going to have eggs i have some homemade hash browns here so i just take two potatoes and put them in the microwave for about three minutes and get them soft and then I cut them up and then put them in a little bit of oil so that I can crisp them up and make some homemade home fries or home potatoes, home breakfast potatoes, whatever they're called. And we also have some Morningstar sausage that we're going to be having. 
and then I like my eggs over easy. My husband likes his scrambled, so I'll do his scrambled, and I'll do mine over easy. And then we are we have this old bread that needs to be used up, so I'm going to make some toast, and we'll have toast with butter and jelly and orange slices and black coffee for breakfast. So that's what we're having on our Sunday morning breakfast. Let's continue cooking and I'll show you, hopefully I'll remember to show you when it's on the plate. Last night when I made fajitas, I forgot to show you because I'd wolfed them down so fast. <laughs> they were really, really good. So I will hopefully show you it all plated up. Okay, here it is, Sunday morning breakfast, over mangled easy eggs, not so easy, over mangled eggs. Home breakfast, home potatoes, veggie sausage. This is the morning star, it's very good. And then a piece and a half of toast, orange slices, and good strong hot black coffee. And that's what we are having for breakfast on Sunday morning. For dinner tonight, we are having sloppy joes, one of my personal favorites. I make these with manwich. I love it. It's so good. French fries that were frozen, but they're really good. And some Italian green beans and beautiful candlelight. And we'll kind of catch up. We got weird ketchup tonight. We have sriracha ketchup. And we've got tomato blood. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy Sunday night. Mm -hmm. For lunch today on Monday, we are having leftover fajitas, leftover Spanish rice, and leftover black beans. Actually, these black beans are not leftover. I opened a can and fortified the Mexican rice with black beans. And to go on our fajitas, we've got some shredded cheese, some sour cream, and some salsa. So that's what we are having for lunch on Monday. For dinner tonight, we are going to have lobster ravioli. I am sauteing some vegetables, which include zucchini, asparagus, onions, and celery. I'm sauteing these until they're tender. And once they're tender, I will add some pesto. And I'll add some alfredo to make a sauce. And I'll boil the lobster and we'll have lobster ravioli with this vegetable-y sauce and salad and garlic bread. So here it is, the lobster ravioli with the Alfredo, pesto, zucchini, onion, asparagus, and celery sauce, garlic hot dog buns, and we have the sweet kale and cranberry salad that go with it tonight. And of course, our lovely candlelight. You're going to have sriracha on it? Okay. Happy Monday. For dinner tonight, it's Taco Wednesday, so we have tacos. We have two tacos on this neat little taco rack that I got. And we have a chip to go with it and black beans and rice. And so these are ground beef tacos with lettuce, tomato, onion, and cheese. And I'm having heart healthy red wine. And darling husband is having a cold, frosty one tonight. And we don't have the candle lit yet. But here it comes. Yay, so happy Taco Wednesday. For dinner tonight, we're going to have Swiss steak in the crock pot. It's early in the morning. It's a little bit after 6 o'clock. So I'm going to put my steak in the crock pot. And then I'm going to also add some onions, carrots, and celery. And let that cook on low for 5 or 6 hours. And then I will add a can of tomato sauce. 
and a can of diced tomatoes. That makes a good rich gravy. We'll have that with mashed potatoes and some kind of vegetable. So let's get to cooking. It's going to be easy. Easy cooking. That's what I like. Easy, lazy cooking. I don't want to do a lot of work, so that's why I let the crock pot do it for me. And here it is with steak, hot and steamy, green beans and mashed potatoes and candlelight dinner tonight. So this uh, gravy that it makes is not real thick. So if you don't like juices touching your other food, don't make it. But it does make a really good gravy. Uh-oh, somebody's been swigging on my wine. So happy Thursday night dinner. For dinner tonight, on Friday night, it's night of the World Series, so we're watching the Arizona Diamondbacks play against the Texas Rangers, so we are having our frozen DiGiorno pizza. We have the Supreme, and we have Hawaiian and sweet kale and cranberry salad, and also cold, frosty, sudsy drinks, so that's what we're having for dinner tonight. For dinner tonight, it is game two of the World Series, so we're going to watch the World Series, and I'm going to make nachos as our dinner to eat while we're watching it. So I've got chips. So today is Saturday, October 28th, and Albertsons and Bonds and Safeway had their Saturday free sampler, which they have occasionally, which was a bag of tortilla chips. So very excited for this. Uh, the avocado was 77 cents, and then I have a bunch of random bags of cheese that need to be used up. With the Swiss steak leftover meat, I mixed it with black beans, and I put some taco seasoning in it, so that's going to be our topping also for our nachos. So I'm going to put it on the chips. I've got some cut up onion and yellow bell peppers, and I'm going to squish up the avocado. And we'll have avocado and sour cream. And uh, we also have jalapenos. So that's going to be our dinner tonight. So let's get to cooking. Okay, so here's our nachos. They're really good and brown. And we've got the smashed avocado. We've got salsa. We've got some sriracha sauce, some jalapenos, and some sour cream to top them with. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy Saturday, World Series Saturday. For lunch today on Sunday, we're having taco salad. So we have leftover ground beef taco meat and black beans. And so I put that on top of chips and then I sprinkle cheese on it and put lettuce and tomato and onion and avocado and then sprinkled more cheese on top. And that is our taco salad for lunch today on Sunday. Happy Sunday. No, we're not having any heart healthy red wine for lunch just water to drink or whatever you whatever else you want for dinner tonight on Sunday I'm just using up a bunch of leftovers again so I have some of this Alfredo that's left over and I had some pesto so I just put it in a casserole dish and I had some whole grain penne pasta that I put in there and I put water in there and I put some leftover power greens that needed to be used up. I shredded some carrot. I had some mushrooms that I used up. I didn't use all of them. I used a few. I put some onion in it and I'm going to mix it all up and I've got a bunch of cheeses that need to be used up so I'm going to mix it all up and put it in the oven and we'll have pasta bake for dinner tonight. Alfredo pesto pasta veggie pasta bake. Okay, so the casserole is ready. It's not the most beautiful looking casserole, but it's going to taste good. And we have some leftover crescent rolls that we had a few nights ago. I warmed those up and there's the salad. So we're having the Alfredo pesto veggie casserole and the sweet kale and cranberry salad and our healthy red wine. So clicky clicky. Nobody here to clicky with me. Clicky, clicky. Oh, 
well, that's not your heart healthy. Put it down here. Okay. So happy Sunday night. For dinner tonight on Monday, it's day three of the World Series. So we're going to have Big Mac Sloppy Joes. I've got frozen ground beef. It's easy to thaw in the pan. You just turn it on low and keep turning it over and keep turning it over and it'll thaw. It just takes a little bit longer, but it will thaw. And then I will add chopped up onions, chopped pickles, and also Thousand Island dressing. So that will make a really good Big Mac Sloppy Joe. And I also have lettuce that I will be putting on these old ratty buns that were in the back of the refrigerator, but they're going to be just fine. And then we'll also have cheese on it. And we're also going to have french fries with it and some kind of a canned vegetable. So let's get to cooking. Okay, when the ground beef is all brown, then you add the onions and the pickles and the Thousand Island dressing. And then you will dress your sloppy joe with lettuce and cheese and the sloppy joe mixture. And it smells like McDonald's in here. And then we also have our french fries in the oven, which they're not like McDonald's fries. They're way better. The frozen Orida crinkle cut fries are my all-time favorite french fries. So those will be ready. And then we will have some green beans because we need a little vegetable also. We added the onions and the pickles and the Thousand Island and we're going to let this simmer for a little bit. Let our vegetables come up to a boil and let the french fries cook and then we'll be eating dinner. Yeah, I got a glass of wine and I had to make sure it tasted okay. Okay, here it is, the Big Mac Sloppy Joe and it is going to be very sloppy with that big old piece of lettuce on it. The french fries with some ketchup and green beans and heart healthy red wine. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight.